Titanosaurs. Like Patagotitan and Argentinosaurus are with an approximate weight of 75 tons and a length of almost 40 meters the largest land animals that ever lived. When reaching adulthood, these magnificent beasts probably had no natural predators. And better so, because from what we know about the nervous system, their reaction time must have been rubbish. Signals from our sense of touch go from our body to our brain. And vice versa, the brain sends signals to our body and muscles. It takes some time for these signals to travel back and forth. On short distances, nerve conduction velocity, which is the speed that the signal travels in our nerves, is more than 300 miles per hour. But taking into account that signals jump from one neuron to another occasionally, the average speed is closer to 150 miles per hour. For example, a signal starting in our motor cortex and going to our hand takes about 20 milliseconds. In a mouse, which is much smaller than us, this takes only about 5 milliseconds. And a signal from our motor cortex to our leg takes about 40 milliseconds. Indeed, research has shown that the speed of nerve signals is relatively constant between different animal species. This means the larger an animal is and the longer the distance a signal needs to travel, the more time it takes. Since we have no fossil remains of Titanosaurus nervous systems, we can only speculate. But based on all analysis we have in modern species, a signal traveling from the motor cortex to the hind leg of a Titanosaur would probably have taken upwards of a second. And this is a lower estimate, based on the assumption that their nerves were similar to those in modern mammals. In modern mammals, nerves are highly myelinated. Myelin is a sheet around the nerve that drastically speeds up a signal. If dinosaur nerves would have been completely unmyelinated, the signal from the brain to the leg would travel for several minutes. But that seems unlikely. Furthermore, the signal from the motor cortex to the muscle is not everything. Remember, in humans the signal takes between 20 and 40 milliseconds. But at best, human reaction time is about 250 milliseconds. What happens in those other 200 milliseconds? Well, when we react to something, we first have to perceive it, either by seeing, hearing or feeling it. On top of that, the movement needs to be prepared, which takes up even more time. Taking everything together, the most optimistic estimate for a Titanosaurus reaction time would be around one and a half seconds. Even though these dinosaurs had no natural predators, such slow reaction times can be problematic when moving around. For example, when trying to avoid other animals or obstacles. Research has suggested that large animals with slower reaction times compensate by simply moving slower. There are, of course, several reasons why large animals move slower, but this data suggests that one of those reasons is because their brain is wired to be slow. So yeah, slowly and clumsily moving large dinosaurs, as you can see them in many documentaries, are probably very realistic. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video and we hope to see you the next time.